really like mess this up. I just find it really hard because I'm getting attached to people. <laughs> we could be onto this all day. Like we both got <laughs> got our thoughts. And I'd have Mane, he'd have Bell. That's the way it is. And we give him a lift to the train station. And <laughs> I had a tear, didn't I? Steve? Oh my god, I've never <laughs> seen anything like it. A grown man. Like never fall uh, in I love get... never fall in love with a lone pair, that's what yeah, they never say. Fall in So welcome back to Life of a Kitman. We've got another special episode here where we're just going to go through the five-a-side teams from our guests from last season. Um, and we're also going to pick our own five-a-side teams <laughs> from players that we've worked with in the job. You'll see Jonah's face. He's really worried about upsetting people. Yeah. That's the main reason we're doing it, just because you know I know he's going to worry about it and it'll be brilliant when someone gets on his case. Yeah, I'm worried about it. There's so many to choose from. That's the problem. There is a lot. There's been a lot of play over turnover, yeah. isn't there? Unbelievable. Right, so we've got Matt um, right next to the camera, um, but he's going to run through the teams and we're going to give you our opinions on the five-a-side teams from last season. All right then, should we kick this off? Let's do it. All right, Charlie Austin was our first player on the pod. Yeah. And he set the bar high, didn't he? <laughs> he did just set the bar high. <laughs> just a bit. We <laughs> did worry about this when we had him on first. We yeah. were like, where do you go? Where do you go from Charlie Austin? <laughs> Some players he's played with. Let's talk it yeah. through. First of all, the gaffer was Harry Redknapp. I mean, what a manager he is. That's yeah. unbelievable. A career. The yeah. stories you must have just oh. from him alone is yeah. insane. And then we go goalkeeper, Fraser Foster at Southampton. Defender, Virgil van Dijk at Southampton. Then you've got midfielder, Nico Crancher who followed Harry Redknapp wherever he Everywhere. went, it felt like. Juan, Juan Char, Juan Char. <laughs> uh, and uh, he, in midfield with him, we've got Dusan Tadic. And then uh, up front, uh, we've had a little argument off camera we about this, about how, how good he is, but Sadio Mane. The, the thing with Mane... There isn't me, a weakness there, is there? But the, the thing with Mane is, he leaves Liverpool, and what happened? Yeah. What happened? They had a great season. <laughs> for the shins. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Should we say where the this argument of Mane comes? So yeah, we're talking about all the five or so teams. Obviously, we'll come on to one of these players later on in the, in another team. But we are basically talking about Gareth Bale and Mane and who we'd have in our team. And Steve thinks that I'd have Mane. Mane is Bale. better than Bale, and me and Matt both agreed that we'd have Bale. And Steve. Jonah yeah, then went on to say, oh no, sorry, Matt went on to say, look at what Bell did internationally. And I went, Sadio Mane. Best player, best African player anywhere for years. But, so if oh, you look at... Oh, Salah will have a little bit of a say about that. Yeah. Yeah, but Mane, man. <laughs> but Mane's like, in terms of Liverpool, he's your bit part player and he still scores as many goals. I think, and gets more assists. I think what you're saying is that he's a bit underrated and gone under the radar. Massively. But, all right, but... And not, I feel like that wasn't that wasn't our debate or question, was it? So our debate I would or question have is Mane. who's better. I would who, have Mane in their prime. Who is better, Bale Sadio or Mane? Uh, so, still so, so, can, so some of those goals he scored. Also, from Madrid. so yeah, yeah, but like you're talking about individual one-off world-class goals, right? Mane, the consistency of the guy, top top level. I hate yeah, Liverpool, but, yeah, but but right. Mane is just. Bale, different level. Right, Bale started at um, Southampton. Southampton. Yeah. He went to Tottenham. He was very good at Tottenham. Obviously, got the big move. Like, yeah. At the time, I think it was a record. Yeah, it was. Yeah, that's right. Like move. Went to Real Madrid. Was unbelievable there right, as well, and was very underrated. And right. And won, a massive part of him winning three Champions Leagues. Yeah. Okay. Dance. Serious question. He won three Champions Leagues. He might have won more than three. On his own, obviously. But, well, with so one of the goals on his, definitely on his own. Right. Overhead that kick. Against, oh, against, it's, an un, it's an unbelievable goal. <laughs> the overhead I'm not, kick. I'm not <laughs> saying it's not unbelievable. It is an unbelievable goal. <laughs> Sorry, guys, we won't be having this debate the whole time, but we just want to get this clear and just both put our thoughts out. Also... No, Jonah wants to tell me why I'm wrong. Wales. That's what's going on. Wales, in the last decade, with Bale... Have not achieved... Got to a semi-final of the Euros. Right. Wales. And what's Mane done? 
final of the African Cup of Nations. Yeah. I don't right. think they've actually won it. So how? But how's that any different? But, they? but I can't remember. But look, so in his respective competition, which is the same as his respective competition, and qualified, Bale got to the semis and qualified for Mane a World, got to the final and qualified right? for a World Cup. And Mane's never played in the World Cup. Yeah, but Wales was qualifying for a World Cup. It's so hard for Wales yeah. to qualify for a World Cup. Hey. Anyway, let's just let's go back to Charlie's team, then. So <laughs> unbelievable. Like, we, 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 just, <laughs> like, you, you, we could be onto this all day. Like we both <laughs> got, got our thoughts, and I'd have Mane, he'd have Bell. That's the way it is. I mean, we're two to one here with me and Matt. But well, no, you'd have Bell, I'd have Mane. Um, um, I, I stand corrected. He has won the African Cup of Nations. Oh right, so he's Cameroon. won the African Cup of Nations. Sorry. And how many World Cups has he played in? Um, I haven't got that here. Okay, that's fine. Anyway, so, anyway, anyway moving anyway, on. So Charlie's team. <laughs> Charlie's team. Fraser Four String goal, giant. Yeah. He's at Tottenham now, isn't he? Yep. Play in, he played in the um, played quite a lot at the end of the yeah, season yeah, when yeah. Loris got <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Um who else do you have? Who was at the back? Van Dyke. Oh, Virgil Van Dyke. Van Dyke. <laughs> just just, Van just Dyke. Virgil Van Dyke, don't worry about it. Unbelievable. From what Charlie says, one of the best. Like in the world. And I, you got... Yeah, go on. Cranchar and yeah, Taddeck. Cranchar and Taddeck. Yeah. Yeah. Some of their finishes. When Charlie was at Southampton, I went down a bit and watched a few games and Taddeck was just different level. Even at Ajax. Different like, level. Yeah. No, it's, it's and, then at, and then obviously at front you had Manek, Manek who yeah. we've just seen what he's won. Cause Average. He's yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not as good as Gareth Bale. <laughs> yeah, what... What They're both he, unbelievable. And obviously, Harry Redknapp is a manager. Yeah. Like, he definitely motivated. In England, most, like, how many, I, I don't know how many games he's managed, but I think it's one of the top yeah, amount of me. games, isn't it? It's got yeah. And w- what he achieved with what you would call relatively yeah. smaller clubs. Yeah. Portsmouth. You know, especially Portsmouth. Not a small club, but for no, like. No, but like in terms of your big hit. That FA Cup mm. final win yeah. for that was like, just mm. insane. I mean, right. that team he had there, though, that was a good team. Yeah. Incredible. But that, yeah. but that's down to him. I remember we that, played them. You know? We actually played them in pre season, didn't we? Yeah. When like Defoe and Crouch were all there. Yeah. And he was manager. Crouch. Yeah. I think that was 2008, yeah. I think. So it would have been around the time that. The, the final FA Cup 2008. I think so. When they played Chelsea, really they know. played Chelsea, didn't they? To be honest with you, my, my brain yeah, only they, works in Swindon. Sorry, they teams. played Chelsea in the FA Cup. I think that was 2008, so it might have been the season after that we played them in pre-season or the season before. I don't know, but yeah, yeah. Harry Redman. No, unbelievable anyway. team. Who was next? Uh, we had Fraser Blake Tracy on with Sol so, Brin. So we got two teams. Just yeah, so we had two teams. New contract. With new contract. Well well done to from him. Unbelievable. We knew he would. He's incredible. So... I mean, the standout for um, Fraser's team has to be Ivan Tony up front. Mm. Yeah. I mean, and then he's also got George Boyd in midfield who, as an EFL player. Class. Like, yeah. what a career he's had. Yeah, Probably the last, like, decade or two, we have had one of EFL's best players. Like, that's that's got to be him. Yeah, George Boyd's so incredible. And then in goal, he had Gunn. Yeah. Angus Gunn, yeah. Angus Gunn. Yeah. Jarvis as his centre-back. Yeah. And then Dembele in midfield with George Boyd. Nice. It's a good team. It's a good team. Um, Really good team. But he was up against on that day Seoul's team, which was Darren Randolph in goal. Yeah. And then he had Fry as his centre-back. And then it just gets ridiculous. Ridiculous team. Sancho. Just drop that one in there. Yeah. Phil Foden. Phil Foden. Yeah, why not? And then Charlie Austin up front. I mean... You got goals there, haven't you? <laughs> Imagine like you're two people assisting. <laughs> Can we have that? Can we get those two in with Chaz? And like, you know, we'd score a few goals, wouldn't we? Just a obviously few. he played with Sancho and Foden. It, I think he England. when he was it was England under seventeens or yeah. something. Yeah. So, and he even said when he was on it, didn't he? He said he just knew that they would be the players they are now. Just incredible. He said just you could just see. That their level, and I think for him then as well to choose Charlie up front speaks volumes as to how like, like for him to choose him, but like, now, yeah, it yeah. just speaks volumes as to how much. It's really really good. Um, who's the better goalie, Angus Gunn or Randolph? That's the question. Who would you have? I mean, Randolph has played in the Prem, isn't he? Yeah, is Angus Gunn not? 
maybe he did for Norwich. I don't know. I think you're right, Rob. Sorry, Rob. Maybe. Might I don't know. His, his dad but was incredible. I'm going to say um, Randolph. When I was a kid, Angus has come. Dad was in goal for Norwich. Brian Gunn. And they were like in the UEFA Cup and that. I'm going to say Beat Randolph. That... So. You're going with Randolph? Yeah. Fair enough. But yeah, two very good teams there again as well. Very good teams. Ivan Tony. I mean, obviously he's had his troubles recently. But yeah, but what a striker. Mm. Or what a and I think he's, once he comes back from this ban, yeah. he's just going to be... Just carry on from where he Leaps and bounds. Yeah. He's shown he can do it at every level as well. Yeah. So, Joe Tomlinson came on, and his team up front, a fan of the pod, Sammy Schmodix. Sammy Schmodix, yeah. big fan <laughs> of the pod. We... We interact with him quite a bit. I'm going to work backwards through his team. In midfield, he had Jorge Grant, or is it George Grant? George I've, Grant. I've always wanted yeah, to say Jorge, because that's the way it's spelt. But he said George, so we'll George, go with we'll George. Go George. George Grant. I He's mean, at Hearts now, I think, isn't it? Yeah, some, some, when he was at Lincoln, I think. Yeah, I remember was, it was in the COVID was, year that he was like really good when we went oh, to Lincoln. Oh, of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, proper good. I remember him at Lincoln being, yeah, yeah. a joke. Yeah. And then he's played for Knox County as well, hasn't yeah. he? So... Uh, Will Smallbone in midfield with him. Okay. In, in defence, you've got Andrew Boyce. And in goal, if I can read this correctly, is Di Cornell. Yeah. yeah. He's at Preston. Well, he yeah. was at Preston this season, just gone. Mm-hmm. And the interesting thing about Joe's team was he, instead of just going for the big hitters and the big names, he went in very much on... People that had an impact on his yeah, career. Yeah, people that impacted him personally in terms of personality. And he spoke and about that as well, didn't done. he? So... It's a slightly different feel to that team as to what you might have, you know, taken from others. Mm. But, yeah, it's still, still an excellent team. And that feels to me like that group yeah. over a season would pull you all the way through. Mm. Yeah, it'd be decent, especially with smarts up front. Andrew Boyce had a goals. really good career as well. Yeah. yeah. So then we had Jake Waken. Who, I've always called him Jacob, but doesn't like Jacob. Does he doesn't he? like Jacob. <laughs> it's, it's really weird when you hear like somebody call him Jacob, actually, because you never hear that, do you? He reckons I never call him Jacob. I always call him Jacob. Oh, do you? I always really? have done. Yeah. I just always <laughs> call him Wakey. So, and you always, I always, when every time I, like, yeah, sometimes, but when it's like in in the group, it'll be mm. Wakey. But when it's just me and him, it's always Jacob. I don't know. Right, I don't have first names for his players, so I might struggle a bit here. But we've got Griffiths in goal. Then we've got Ferguson as centre back. In midfield, he's picked Azaz and then Johnny Williams. And then another one to pick Charlie Austin up front. Of course. I mean, Jacob's young, isn't he? So he's not played with a lot of. I think the fact that. I, I don't think he was generous enough in, like, when he was at Leicester. Like training yeah. wise, some of the players he have must trained have trained with, with some, he should yeah, have put well, some of those in. Vardy. I think. Yeah, yeah, all of them. Madison would have been yeah. like all yeah. these players. Yeah, all yeah, those so Schmeichel in goal. Yeah, he could have, like, he, he, could, have, he, he could, could have literally just picked a Leicester team if he the, wanted to, but yeah. I think he wanted to yeah. pick players that he'd actually. I think he's a bit. I think he's a bit. With. In some ways, a little bit similar to Joe Tomlinson. Yeah, yeah, just because he's chosen Charlie, that's probably had a really good impact on his. Yeah. Career, oh, yeah. like in the last few months, you wouldn't massive. want anyone better, would you? Like, no. when you're coming in young into yeah. a and team, especially that when you're a senior pro like that, yeah. when you're trying to play in a similar position yeah. and you're trying to learn the game, I think. I think some players as well. Sometimes when you've got someone like that come in, might see it the other way and be a bit like, I've got another striker. Yeah, it's, it might see it as competition. Yeah, I, I, another but, time that reminds me of that is when like Yatesy. Started, he was playing up front the first couple of games. Yeah. When, um, and then Doyle come in. And then Doyle come in. And, he and was, he's pushed You wide. could sort of tell yeah. that it affected him to start with, but then he, de- he dealt with it. And that's he that's got, the character yeah. and that's the personality that means that they end up at the top of he the got game. Put, he got put out wide. And yeah. I think, yeah, the, the fact that Wakey and the other, even other strikers that were here this season, yeah. they all took, like, Tommy, Jeffy... They all thought it was a good thing, which yeah. was good. No, was really and I think good. the fact that two players that we've had on the podcast have chosen Charlie just shows how... Yeah, I think one other player in his team that we need to point out is Finn as us. Yeah. He's been incredible. Yeah. What a player. Just, just been unbelievable. Yeah. Been he, incredible, so. he was really good when he was at Newport as well. Yeah. And he obviously progressed on and went to, to League One and done the same again. Yeah. So, so, no, really... And obviously Johnny as well. 
I don't need what to say anything guy. about I don't know what else. Yes. I don't know what else you can say about yeah. Johnny Williams. On and off the pitch. What yeah. yeah, just what a guy. Like, when a player comes into a club, right, you hear things about him and mm. you see interviews and people are talking about... When you get to work with these people, you see it and you go, wow, mm. every single one of them is right. Mm. What? Just what a guy. Mm. Like, around the place, on the pitch, professional, just... Really appreciative of all the work people do. Mm. Just a really, really good human being. A mortal player. And give you time of day as well. Because oh. it could be quite easy for him to just go, no, I'm going home. But yeah. he would well, yeah, be like, around here chatting to all the guys in here. He'd be outside with the fans. Yeah. Like, and he was buzzing to come on the pod and help us out. Help the lads and out. What, get a, what a career. Really and like, some of the experiences oh. he's had. like Getting promoted to the Prem with Palace, like he spoke about. Going to a up. Euros, going to a World Cup. Like... Fair yeah, play man. to Winning it. Winning the playoff final in Cholton. You yeah. can't ignore that one. Oh, yeah, sorry, yeah. <laughs> Seen <laughs> that the other day. Throw that one in there. Yeah, <laughs> with that, that goal right at the end. But yeah, he's, had, he's, he's still gone, obviously going to have a couple yeah. more... Um, a few more years, yeah, for yeah. the right. Well, yeah. talking to players with unbelievable careers, I move on to Frenchie. Oh. What a guy. Smartest dressed one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, we, just did, a, from, just we did a Twitter just poll job yeah. interview. and he won it by about 80%. Yeah. <laughs> Incredible. He looked like he was ready for the management role straight away it. there, didn't well, he? Like, that sums him up. I, I, I enjoyed all the podcasts, but just because of the four years we spent with him in it, it was sort of like the end. I think that was my favourite. Yeah. And his team. Yeah, oh my yeah. God, so let's talk through it. I mean, what do you, which, what, which team do you want? Do you want the first team? Oh, first team or the we're, we're just going, we're just, we're just going with the first team. The 20 managers he picked. Yeah. <laughs> so we've got Placid in goal. We've got Sidi... Sid- I'm terrible with pronunciations. Sidibi? Sidibi? Sidibi, who's playing uh, yeah, Juventus. Yeah. yeah. Or Sidibi, maybe. I don't know. I'm terrible with pronunciations. Dimitri Payet <laughs> in midfield, <laughs> alongside Matuidi. And then, you know, Bamiyang up front. I mean, that is up there. All of them with, in their prime. Like That is up there with Charlie's team. That would give it really is. It really game. is. It didn't, Would when, you put Payet on free kicks, do you think? Oh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah. Give it the ball every yeah. time. When, I just when we ball. did the Twitter poll, it, it didn't... You know what I mean? Like, right, Charlie's won it by a mile. Yeah, I was surprised. Pa- 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 Payet like, pa- like, pa- pa- at with West Ham. Guys, Payet at West Ham. Yeah, he's mate. got World Cup winners in there. Yeah, it's yeah. just like Aubame- Aubameyang, Aubameyang in his prime. Oh my god! Some of those French players you played it. with, like at the young age, is just insane. Let's have a look at the reserves a sec. Let's see what. Um, what have we got? Who have we got? Yates, Yates did he? Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yates. <laughs> yeah. I just love seen, it. Apparently, but can't... that says a lot about Yates. Yeah, really does because he was here for one season out of Frenchie's entire career, mm. and he's he played. Well, I was really surprised by this. I don't know if he chose him in reserves number three, but he he had he played with like Danny Ings at Bournemouth. Yeah, yeah. Like, but because I think a couple of days before we come on the pod, he, he put, put like a, a yeah, yeah like a flashback throwback Thursday or whatever it was mm. with that, a picture of him and Danny Ings. I was thinking, yeah, he's going to choose Danny Ings. I, I I forgot about. I mean, I see why you got over. Yeah, I can. Him, I forgot about maybe. Aubameyang, but I thought yeah. Danny Ings would have been yeah, like I thought he might close. Have been there. Yeah. Uh, uh, Fabian Delph, he has a midfield, <laughs> and Charles Inzolpia. And then he's got, I can't read his writing now, Degard. Yeah. And Degard. I cannot read who he's got in goal. Manclan- Manclander? No idea. I don't know. No I, idea I, I can't remember. Can't there remember. were so many tri- players. To and then the remember. list of managers, I can't talk through all of those. Did he add himself in the end? To the he list did of not no. add himself, <laughs> although he looked dressed to. to be a manager. Yeah. And then... I'm putting it out there. I know Charlie won the the poll and that, but the best five aside for me, Johnny Williams. Mm. Do you think? It's, it's real is. tough. I mean, yeah, he, he had a struggle tough. not naming every Welsh player that he played with, because yeah. obviously what a time he's had with them, but Spironi in goal, Ben Davis in, in defence, Aaron Ramsey Aaron in midfield, Ramsey. alongside Zaha. <laughs> Will... <laughs> and then just throw Gareth Bale up front. Of course you can. <laughs> that three there. And then obviously Ben Davis. And there's so many players he's played with that didn't make it. Oh, yeah. Joe Allen. What player? Yeah. Like, how does he not make it? Yeah. And you just think through, like the Crystal Palace teams. 
they had so many world class players at that he time. He played for Charlton. I mean, look all the Charlton yeah, I mean, players he could have Charlton. picked. Look at, look at one of them he could have picked. No, definitely not. He could have chosen. But no, un- unbelievable team. And so we've good. already spoken about Gareth Bell, but in all seriousness, he's an unbelievable player. Yeah, and right. I've, got, I've got something that Steve might never on here. Um, best British player ever, Gareth Bell? Oh, shut up. Don't start. He's got to be up there. Like, it? I'm, oh, I'm, 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 just, I'm just throwing it out there. I don't know. What are you saying? <laughs> best British player best ever? Best British player ever. Better than Paul Gascoigne. Better than Wayne Rooney. Is Don't he a, start. Right, who would you put Lineker. up? Lineker has to be in the mm. conversation. Yeah, Platt. Gary Lineker. Giggs. Ryan Giggs. If it Giggs. Paul Scholes. Stephen Gerrard. Who else? I don't, I, I, I've just seen stuff before saying that he's the best British player ever. I don't, yeah, I, but that's I'm, written I'm by saying, people of your age. I'm not saying he is. I'm just saying... And younger. He's got to be up there, isn't he? Threatened by a 14 year old on Twitter, man. <laughs> he's de- definitely got to be up there. With the he's thing. up there, but he's not number one. Come on. It's tough. I, I mean, any of these like conversations, it's so hard to say it's one so, person yeah, from one generation is. because of course it is. Yeah. they play I mean, in different teams, they play in different eras. Because I mean, you, play you in... could go back and you could say Bobby Charlton. Yeah, you could say Bobby exactly. Charlton. Do you know what I mean? Like World Cup winners for England. Yeah. Like, how could you not but include them can... in that conversation? Yeah. You know, I just. I don't know. I was like, just throwing it out there. I just wanted to see what you're. Um, right after you tried to get that nibble, shall we go on to the yeah. bit that you've been dreading? You've, you've been putting this one off, so let's go for it. Yeah. Your five aside. Teams. I'm, I'm uh, going to go first to give Jonah a little bit more time to see who he doesn't want to upset. And just a disclaimer: whoever Jonah doesn't pick, it doesn't mean he doesn't like you. No, it doesn't mean he doesn't, doesn't like, like you. you. <laughs> he just doesn't like you. Um, okay. In goal. Should I do it? Oh, here's a question. Do I just pick who I think is the best player or do I pick who's the best bloke? I don't know what you base that off. I say best player. Best player, right. Best okay. player. You can talk about blokes, like how good they were in the dressing room and things like that afterwards. Solbrin, number one, for obvious reasons. Is there any, are, you, are we going with people that were close? We'll do that after. Was it, or are we just literally doing the... No, we're just right. picking a team. Right. Just picking a th- you're not right. doing a Frenchie no, and picking yeah. a no, reserve, no, reserve side. Players, mate. <laughs> You've worked with a lot so, of players. Yeah, you know all your pals. <laughs> so, this is, so this, these two teams, just for like everyone listening, we both joined in the 18-19 season halfway yeah. through, didn't we? So yeah. it's from then to now. Yeah. When Basically, when Richie Wellens took over... Just in case somebody all. goes, oh, why is it not Fudger no more? Yeah, just, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. we <laughs> haven't worked with him, so it's people that yeah. we've worked with. Um, defender. Oh, this is tough. But you don't have to just pick one either. Like yeah, but all, the, all the other boys all went with one defender, which I thought was interesting. Mm. Yeah, but, but some teams you want to be more solid and have two defenders. Maybe. No, I don't, because it's five aside. Frenchy. I know exactly what's going to happen when I choose mine now. What? Oh, are you coffee for me. What's the matter with him? No, go on. Okay, am I allowed to carry on? Yeah. Oh, okay, cool. Just, <laughs> just, 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 these players are off the board for you now. You have to pick separate players. <laughs> That'd be good, wouldn't it? Um, oh, this is really tough now. Can I predict? Really, <laughs> really tough. Really. Oh, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Holding you. I'm going to go 1 1 2. Oh, interesting. No one did that. I think. And, oh, this is really tough. There's two players. I'm stuck between two players here. But I'm going to do this. Michael Doughty. I mean, you can't go far wrong with that, can you? I'm going to go... Charlie Austin, and I'm going to go Owen Doyle. Wow. And there's my team. Gaffer. And it is a good time to do this because we've not really had too much with the new Gaffer yet. So, Richie Wellens. Can I do an assistant Gaffer as well? It's your pod. Is that all right? Um, 
Noel Hunt. Because I don't Watch think that. he ever got the credit that guy deserved for us getting promoted. Yeah. What a guy. Because he was outstanding. Outstanding, just as a bloke around the place, picking the lads up, doing all the assistant e bits that Richie stepped away from. Yeah. I think Hunty was really, really good at being around the lads and all those kinds of bits. Um, are we picking a kit? Yeah. Like have to done, pick a kit. Have to pick a kit. That's what the other boys did. Uh, okay, I'm going to go with oh, the. What year are we in now? 23. So it's just 22, 23 is just finished. 21, 22, home. That's the one with the pinstripes with the old. Interesting. Yeah. Obviously, we had Man City in the cup. We got to the playoffs. Some really, really good days in that kit. Mm -hmm. um, and because of the ordering thing, there isn't many of them around. So it's a bit rare. But yeah, there you go. So, what any you, thoughts, Jonah? All I'm going to say is you, when you don't rub it all out for me, going to. Um, you can keep the manager no. and assistant and you can keep the keeper. No, you can write no. your own. Oh, They're off the board for you now. You I have said, to pick a I'm, completely different team. <laughs> than that. You don't have to pick a completely different team. <laughs> well, what, are you that lazy that you don't want to write no, I just, yourself? I was just saying, oh, I'll just keep the corner bit and I'll oh, write right, Brent. Okay, yeah. Um, well. Yeah, it's a five-a-side team. It's a joke. It's a joke, isn't it? Yeah. My, my debate here was obviously Reedy. Yeah. That was the one for me where I was like, what do I do there? Um, this was never in doubt, really. Especially going like that. You just look at that triangle. I mean, it's ridiculous. And then you've got this guy, just warrior at the back. I saw the photo from Sutton. I'll tell you what I was doing. I was going through old TikToks. And the one we did from Sutton at the mm. end of it, uh, Reedy, did Reedy score? He scored a... And then Willow scored. Reedy scored a free kick. Yeah, and Willow scored a really Willow good goal. Willow scored a really good goal. And Frenchie was at the back. And I put Magician 1, Magician 2 on pictures of those two and celebrating their Warrior. goals. And then I put Warrior, and there's a picture of Frenchie with blood all down his face, with a bandage around his head. Just, he was unbelievable. Yeah. Like, And he's been like that since the day he walked in. So he would be shock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But a fit Frenchie in that five-a-side team. Yeah. Happy. So there's mine. Right. Anything from you, Matt? Any thoughts? Yeah, I mean, it's class. It is class. Have you got a picture of so it? so good. Got a picture of it. Excellent. All right. I'll tell you what I do, just because we all know Jonah's a little bit lazy. He's not really. I'm making that up. You can put the magnets back up. Thanks. Yeah, I will do. I'll leave Bryn on there because... I quite like the, your handwriting as well, so I'll keep that for Bryn. It is neat. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep Bryn up there. Yeah, you can get rid of the kit as well. Oh, of, sorry. Yeah, mate. I'll get rid of the kit. There you go. I'll just use my finger then. No, it's fine. <laughs> What's the matter with you? Cheers, Steve. Yeah, I'll do um, it from here with the wrong arm. Yes. Yeah, so Cheers, mate. As you can see, I'm going to keep Sol Bryn in goal. Shock. Um, Jonah loves Sol. How Bryn. good was he this season? And not just... On the pitch as well, like off the pitch. How many? I'm trying to think now. I don't want to be wrong, but I think he got 13 clean sheets. Now, probably wrong. Yeah, I, I, I'm probably wrong, but it was something around that mark. Because I, was, I know it, he was saying he wanted to get to 15. So I think it was 13. Um, but for a team that we ended up coming 10th, to have that many clean sheets is unbelievable. Um, and to, to go back to Middlesbrough... And yeah. get yourself a deal. Yeah, off the back of the season he's had. I've seen he won. F he won three team of the, uh, three player of the months while he was here. <laughs> to win three player club ones. Yeah, yeah. So at, at the club he won three of them. Just to win one of them is like good. So to win three of them. I don't think it's just the clean sheets as well though. I think right. there were so many games that were tight games that yeah. if he hadn't been in goal, Grimsby for, away. Yeah, for example, yeah, Grimsby yeah. away. Like, he kept us in so many games. Yeah. Um, and a top bloke as well. And yeah, what a guy. Really top nice guy. Um, Although the story on the pod about him shaving his toes. 
yeah, it's still, it's what still what a weirder story of it, whatever. And jumping over the line and all yeah, the all these things we didn't know because obviously we were inside. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but I really like. I hope he goes on to have. I think he will, and I hope he goes on to have a good career. Yeah, I, I think, think he will. We'll be watching that. Sure. He, yeah, have when... you got your tattoo yet? <laughs> so, basically, at the start of the season, or probably a month or so in, Jonah loves Sol. He he randomly just went. I think I'm going to get Sol's name tattooed on my leg. I said, if we get promoted, I went. What? What are you talking about? Are you all right? I, it, it hasn't happened I'm yet. I bet you're glad they didn't get promoted. Yeah, then. it hasn't <laughs> happened yet. So. Um, yeah, I nearly did it in Grimsby, actually. We set up really early. Of all oh, places to do God, it. Don't do it in Grimsby. <laughs> <laughs> um, Come on. No, but just one little story before I go on to the next player. Um, yeah, when he left... We're not clipping this five side team, are we? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry. I've, I've done a Joe Tomlinson it. Hey! <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Um, <laughs> Sorry, Joe. No. Go on. Um, yeah, when he left, um, he come in. The, yeah, so the last game was on the Monday. He come in on the Tuesday um, just to get to a few of his bits. And we give him a lift to the train station. And <laughs> I had a tear, didn't I, Steve? Oh, my God. I've never seen anything <laughs> like it. A grown man. like Never fall, oh, in, love, get... never fall in love with a lone pair. That's what yeah, they never said. Fall in and love I think I um, did. So and I, 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 I just said a grown man, but in reality, you're allowed to be in touch with your feelings and whatnot. But, I mean... What not? <laughs> there's a what not for you. But, I mean, this guy... Did yeah. you run after the train? When it no, so, the right, so I'm in the front, right? And Sol's in the front and Jonah's in the back. Sol gets out, because obviously we're at traffic lights. So I'm like, if you get out now, mate, you can just go and I don't mm. have to drive around there. So he jumps out. He's gone really quiet in the back. I've looked in the mirror. Jonah, are you all right, mate? And he's like hiding from me in the mirror. Yeah, I'm fine, mate. Yeah, I'm fine. Don't worry about it. So we had to go to KFC to cheer him up because bonus was... banquet. Yeah. No. Oh, what's for me? Me and Steve. All... We're going way off topic. Here. Way off topic. <laughs> but... Let's do it. Come on. I'm, I'm really sorry, but Woo-hoo! um, I hadn't. I've never really been a big fan of KFC because it does stuff oh, to my stomach. God, and... it's <laughs> yeah, we don't. Yeah. Doesn't need to be the punch. <laughs> um, <This guy. laughs> anyway, I've always had a bonus banquet, but that day I had something different. Um, I suppose I had to move on to new stuff, so I thought, yeah. Anyway. Was that um, the whole story? Yeah. <laughs> All right, good. Right, let's... Um, who's your defender? No, I'm doing oh. some... I'm, oh, my God. Are you I, doing... Yeah, I'm doing, some, I'm doing something um, very different to... It's never been done on the podcast before. I'm going... <laughs> <laughs> probably, there's probably a reason why it hasn't, but... Yeah. Um, I'm, going, I'm, sorry. I'm going two centre-backs. Solid. So I'm going... Frenchie. I.e., I mean, it's interesting. Oh, oh, I spelled that wrong. No, it's fine. No, 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 no it's fine. <laughs> you you were testing yourself there. I don't Frenchy. know why I didn't put Baldry, but... I don't know, but Frenchy. Um, do a line under it, just like you do. Um, oh, copying <laughs> me. He's even copying our right. Um, yeah, so I'm going Frenchy. Frenchy. Um, you said and then you'll have a centre-back. Go on, who else? You I'm got? going Fraser, Blake, Tracy as well. Oh, oh, you've got two apps. <laughs> no one's going past those two. He's picking his mates, <laughs> man. <laughs> No one's getting past um, those two. Though, there's loads more fair. people I could have had. Um, <laughs> how many? How many? Like, how much like tape are you going to need for their heads for those two yeah, between nice. them? How many shirts am I going? Yeah, have? blood shirts. <laughs> <laughs> I need, blood I, shirts. I, yeah, I need the blood bag. Um, <laughs> Um, there's yeah. counters here mate yeah watch, we've watched people do this and get annoyed at how badly they do it and now I'm doing it badly um, holding midfield I'm going holding, holding midfield oh, you're not scoring goals then go on then this game. oh Reedy Reed. yeah you're other mate yeah <laughs> Lewis Reed um, holding just because I, you put Doughty and it made me want to put Doughty but and I know he is technically very good but really technically in small positions <sighs> Yeah, so I'm having him. And then just in front. There's another counter there, mate. <sighs> Who's your striker? Who's your striker? See, this is your problem now. Because you've gone with one striker, you're like, oh. my favourite ever Swindon player, or 25 goals in 28 games. Yeah, but or I was thinking Yatesy as 15 well. goals from wide. Yatesy. What do you do? Do you know what? I'm going to upset someone. Go completely rogue. Can I I change it? No, 
No. Can I not go back because I want no. my centre back? No, you've done it now. Your centre backs are in. They're locked. We knew this was going to happen. So we've got to be strict with him. We've said to him, that's it. Because I want to pet Again, I want... this is all just about not upsetting people. <laughs> I want to pet him there. Are you um, drop him? No, no. <laughs> You're going to drop I, Fraser after putting him in? Because I've messed up with my maths here. I was thinking I still had two counters. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, you got one striker. Pick this striker, is what I Jonah. work with every right. day. Come on, this could be the longest off, ever. Sorry, otherwise. sorry. I'm going to go Charlie Austin up front. Obviously, just because of the goals. Um, yeah. I really want him there. Just because I mean, of the te- yeah. technically, technically. But there's also so somebody. Good. I, so good. I can't change it now. I've been told. But I want a Jack Payne in there. Oh, I want a Jack Payne. I want Reedy and Jack Payne in the middle. Well, then why didn't you go one two one? Because because you I didn't think FBT in because you don't want to upset people. So you thought you'd try and slip, slip an extra player in. Right. So I've put that. I can't change it. But it would be Payne instead of FBT. And the only reason for that is, I and mean, if you are listening, Fraser, it's base. <laughs> He's not listening to us. <laughs> yeah. He's I'm not listening to us. He's on the beach right now, having a very nice time. Enjoying <laughs> he listens because you think he's your mate. Um, <laughs> oh my god. The only reason why I'm going. Um, Fraser, because I know predominant. Yeah, go on. You pre- got it right. Predominantly, predominantly yeah. he's played full back. I know he's played centre back a bit, but I like him at left back. And in a five side team, you're not really going to have a left back. Um, and Payne doesn't get spoken about <laughs> enough. And since we've been here, it's the most underrated twin and player. Yeah, you don't need to justify everything <laughs> so, all the yeah, time. There you go. Anyway, Payne was unbelievable. Yeah. Sorry, unbelievable. guys. I really like messed this up. I just find it really hard because I get attached to people. <laughs> So which is a players. real problem in this show <laughs> a real problem but yeah there's his five side team Matt have we got a picture of his five side team we can get a picture of his five side team it's Dion Conroy oh Dion Conroy there's so many players you can go back Zachy through Fryers. oh Zachy Friars Lloyd Isgrove Isgrove yeah oh so you know many. I'd like in a five side team go on JSC me Oh, DJ. Oh, man. DJ would be good. Be class in a five yeah. or something. Look at all these people you've let down. They're, they're all going to be so up. annoyed with that's you because they're all going to watch this. Ends of friendships right there. Yeah, that's it. But in oh. all seriousness, brilliant. I hope you've enjoyed yeah, it. Yeah, we've worked with so many good players. Um, this has been good fun. I've enjoyed it. Matt, have you enjoyed it? Loved it. Matt's loved it. Jonah? <sighs> I've enjoyed it. Until the end. <laughs> Johnny Williams yeah. kicking the pen. Cheers, Willow. Hang on, can I just have a... <laughs> do one of them. What a guy. Get one of them in. Pop it in my empty cup. Uh, yeah. Yeah, cheers, guys. Join us next time.